YouTube, what's going on? Hope things are going good. Today, we are going to paint these dirty wheels on this G35. As you can see, someone at some point in time tried to paint them black, I guess, with maybe one coat of paint or nail polish. I don't know. But they look terrible. Each side, the front is way worse than the back. The back doesn't even look painted. They just look terrible. As you can see, they're chipped. So, yeah, now it's time to wash them. Get some degreaser, a brush, and, you know, a water hose. We just scrub it up dub all over these bad boys, rinse them off. Look at that dirt. Crazy. One thing I did not do that you probably should, go on and spray the wheel well, the tire. Just get it all clean while you're at it, because it just, why not? You're already there. I was lazy. So... Here we go, the other side, I need to pull my pants up, but at least it's not a full moon in the middle of the day. Ha ha. If possible, you want to paint indoors. We're going to be painting these wheels with some Rust-Oleum High Performance Wheel Paint. Not sponsored or anything, just seeing how it goes. We'll also need some soapy water. I just get baby shampoo, mix it with water, shake it, you're good. Some rags. Preferably cleaner ones than this, but, you know, it happens. Tape, I couldn't decide which one we were going to use, so there's a selection. But before we paint anything, we will have to sand these bad boys down. So, here's some sandpaper. For the most part, I'm pretty much just going to use 800 on these. They're not all that bad. And then we sand. Just getting all the little crevices. Try to get everything as smooth as possible. You know, any rock chips, paint chips all that fun stuff just you know get it as smooth as possible so that the paint doesn't chip in the future these back wheels aren't that bad just kind of a little glaze over pretty quick and simple also non-car related wear deodorant like i'm sure i was but whoo that looks bad back wheel again pretty quick and easy boom 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 everybody say hey yo Hey yo! We will also need some all purpose isopropyl thal alcohol. And you should be wearing a mask. I should have been wearing a mask the whole time, even while sanding it, but yeah, you know, I forgot. You shouldn't. So just go to the store, get some alcohol, pour it in a spray bottle. Makes life so much easier. And then also, gloves that I've been wearing the whole time. They are a game changer if you don't want to spend six months washing your hands. Also, index cards from 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, wherever. They're cheap, you know, like a dollar. They are definitely the best to use around the wheel because I also got these playing cards, which you will see did not work all that well. And last but not least, if you have a big old piece of cardboard or a box, whatever, cut a piece of cardboard off and then you can sit on it so you don't get dirty. Now we will take our bottle of all-purpose isopropyl alcohol and spray each wheel down. Use a microfiber cloth, wipe it down, make sure it's good and clean, ready to go for paint. Also a side note, I used that soapy water to kind of wet sand the wheels a little bit. Somehow that did not get recorded. That is my fault. Along with washing the tire when you wash the wheel, air it up also. And then, after your all-purpose isopropyl alcohol has dried, we will get some newspaper and we will begin to wrap all the brakes and brake calipers and everything behind the wheel so that it does not get painted black and look like crap. It is so much fun. And this one didn't want to stay, so wind up getting taped to keep it in place. A little extra drying, and boom shakalaka. Here we go. Last one, and done. On this wheel, I use those terrible playing cards. They're smaller and thicker than index cards. You've got to use more of them, and they don't like to stay between the tire and the wheel. Just don't use them. They're bad. And then we'll take some newspaper and painter's tape and tape off the body of the car so that obviously we don't get any overspray on the car itself. And then we're going to get our paint and sh -sh 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 shake dot ding. 
and then paint the outer lip of the wheel and then just continue to paint make sure you get complete coverage get inside of all the spokes and pretty much we'll repeat that entire process again and as far as the tape goes I found that green painters tape is generally the best but for this I didn't really need the best uh, so I went with blue because it's actually cheaper and you can also probably see how much easier this is with the index cards versus those playing cards index cards they have more surface area they just boom 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 so easy game changer one more wheel left tape 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 it off and spray it down and let's take a nap and then during my nap I remembered that I had this little aerosol grip thing. I don't know what you call it, but they're a necessity if you're going to be using an aerosol can for an extended amount of time. They just make it a bazillion times easier. As you can see, now we're just spraying an extra coat on everything so that, you know, they don't look like they did before. One big thing, though, when you're painting wheels, even washing wheels, People always forget to go on the bottom side of the spoke. Make sure you get the inside angle of everything because you'll be disappointed if you paint the whole thing and then back it out and the side that was facing down is still silver. I mean, it, that would suck. So just make sure you do that. And after coat on coat on coat, let's get ready to take this tape off. Just peel it all off nice and slow. Make sure you don't leave any tape. Pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you get you know everything in the wheel wells. If you did a good job, it'll be a little more difficult to get off. Now we're going to get these index cards. And this is the only good thing about using the playing cards. So we get them, you know, get them all organized. And I can attempt to spray them at the camera unsuccessfully and then we repeat the entire process again that came off just about perfect it's nice to overlap your tape and newspaper I can now finally see the finish line yes yay here's a look at the wheels they don't look terrible they don't look great but they do look better than they did. But, dot, 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 do not forget to remove the paper from the brakes, rotors, so on and so forth. I did. So, let's remove that real quick. It's fairly simple and straightforward. And last but not least, one thing I completely forgot to do is get clear coat and spray clear coat on these wheels. I didn't think about it till after I'd already undone everything and was not in the mood to do it again. Here's a look at the wheels. Like I said, they look better than they did. Not perfect, but very much acceptable. And the paint itself, you can't complain for the price. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. We'll find out about the longevity in the future. And that is that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I have no idea what direction this channel is going to go in. I feel like many different ones. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you'd like me to do in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.